Today we're going to be making algae based bioplastic. So in front of me uh, I have some water. This is vegetable with base glycerin. Agar powder, which you can buy from uh, usually Asian convenience stores or, or grocery stores. Uh, I've, I've put the agar into a bowl made from agar. We also have some colouring, so this is um, spirulina. And this is beta carotene, which is comes from the pink lake algae. Uh, I've also got a saucepan, some spoons for mixing and a tray for pouring into when we're finished. So I'm going to start off by pouring about maybe 500 ml of this water into the saucepan. And about 25 grams of the agar which is about big two big tablespoons-ish. Um, I'll also put in, I'm going to make orange today, so I'll put in some beta carrots. Give that all a mix through. And take it over to the soap. You want to put it on a medium to high heat, keeping watch that it doesn't burn on the bottom. Bring it to a boil and then you simmer it on a medium to low heat for probably 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so this is our bioplastic mix on the stove now. And we've only just put it on, so you can see that when I mix it, on the surface of the mixture and also in the spoon, that you can see slightly those granules of agar still well formed and you want to cook it until the point that you can you can no longer see them when you when you mix it or when you watch it drip off the spoon so that's what we're looking for we're going to cook it for a little bit now and then we'll show you what it looks like at the point that you're looking for Okay, so we've been cooking it for about 10 minutes and giving it a stir pretty constantly. And you can see that the consistency now on the top of the surface of the mixture and also when it's, uh, when it's poured off the spoon is, I'm going to call it silky. Uh, you can see that there's no discernible granules like there were before. It's all mixed in and it's a smooth mixture. You can give it a test if you want to, just by dropping a few bits on the countertop or something a little bit cooler and you can leave it to set for a minute or two and then you'll notice that it's, it's hard and formed as a bioplastic. So that's, that's how you can test it. All right. And so I'm just gonna add our glycerin now. You can experiment with how much you use. I'm going to put in only a couple of mils to get a harder consistency to the bioplastic. The more plasticizer or glycerin that you add, the more uh, elastic it will be. If you add a lot, it will end up a sticky bioplastic that won't dry completely. Could I ask Lycan to come in and help me pour this? So you want your tray to be all ready. And just pour and tilt as you pour it to cover the whole surface. And we usually leave these to set for about 24 hours. And then we'll show you how we peel them off with one that we prepared earlier. So I put our bioplastic sheet that we prepared earlier and lichen's going to peel it off. So what you want from this is to find the edges um, and make sure you're peeling it away. If it's not coming away easily, you can use a knife to score the edge 
so you want to peel it away from. So you want to just use your fingers to slowly and gently massage the edge off until it comes away and then gently and slowly pull it off the tray. 